Spain Sports Radio, FM. let's go to Spain at this point in time where we have a former player of the Super Eagles, former African Footballer of the Year, former player of uh, Sporting Lisbon, former player of uh, Barcelona, Emmanuel, the real deal, I'm Munike. Coach, how are you doing? I'm okay, I'm good. And how, 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 how is Spain? Ah, Spain is good. Mm. I'm not it's alone, I mean, I'm, I'm alongside my colleague Yinka Oyedele, we're in the studio. Uh, coach. How are you? I'm all right. And I want to believe you are you are aware of what is trending as well yourself. We sent you a message yesterday to that effect. Yeah, I'm aware of what is happening. Mm. Uh, we, we, uh, Coach Manu Monique does not have uh, plenty of time. He's in a meeting, actually. But because uh, we are sports radio, uh, uh, first of all, apologies for barging into your meeting. And thanks for granting us the and opportunity. And thanks for granting us uh, the audience. Make I, make I first beg you, Maoga. Sorry for, for barging into your meeting. Okay. But let, but let us be quick because I have to go also. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, Ni Ni Nigerians have been uh, asking for your voice. Uh, say we want to hear Amunike uh, talk about uh, the recommendation. You were recommended uh, to serve as head coach of the Super Eagles. Nigerians want to hear from you. Well, Tony, uh, I think, uh, well, first of all, uh, I have always, you know, said it and... Uh, you know, I'm a Nigerian and I was privileged to have served Nigeria in my capacity as a player. And uh, after retiring, I adventure into coaching and I was given opportunity again to serve Nigeria at the youth level. And uh, today, uh, Nigerians uh, believe in, in me and believe in, you know, what I have been doing. Well, what I can, what can I say is to thank, to thank everybody and uh, hopefully uh, you know time and uh, god will give us the grace and wisdom to do uh, what is needful and what is right for our football you know to move forward uh, i so much believe i remember as a player i can tell you a lot of nigerians the day of the game even if they don't have food but you will see people trooping at the stadium to support the super egos i think that is the joy of Nigerians and the Nigerians are so passionate when it comes to the game. Well, nothing else I can say is to thank them. I'm always available to serve my country I, for giving me the privilege and thank them for you know having that kind of confidence in me. And I also ask God, who made all things possible, to give us the grace also to be in a position to do what is right. Well, I think. Um, I'm grateful to Nigerians, I'm grateful to the Federation for looking at my direction. I think for now, uh, it's of no use to be talking a lot. It's, I think let us just be quiet and then at the end of the day, there will be a moment for me to grant interview to everybody. But the most important thing is that I'm grateful to Nigerians you know, for the confidence. Because it's very difficult for <laughs> over the years. Uh, for one to find that kind of love and support that people believe in you and like i have said earlier uh, it's not man's making it's not because uh, one is the best it's not because one is the most intelligent uh, we just ask for god's wisdom and uh, god's direction to give us the capacity and the strength to do what is needful for our, our football uh, tony i have always said it and i keep on saying it uh, it's not about Emmanuel Amuneke, it's not about the 94th generation, it's about the people behind us and uh, that will be the beauty of our football when the people, the new generation can take the game to the next you know, level and to the next height. I think that is the beauty of everything we all that are involved into this sector which is sport and football and uh, we want to see our game uh, you know, grow better and then see our young ones taking us to to where the previous people, you know, uh, have tried their best. Uh, the journey is so long that uh, sometimes those of us that are alive today, when we look at the history of our football, uh, we, we have not even talked about the people that started the race. And then the people that came later after them, the people like us that continue from where they stopped. So my prayer is that the next generation, you know, they should do more than what we have with uh, what we have achieved or what we have uh, done in the past i mm. think that's where we can yeah we are we have you know we are growing and uh, we are building legacy and uh, 
strong foundation for the next generation. Mm. I, I, I want to thank you. I know you're a man of your words. You're a gentleman. This is just the preamble. When When is the right time uh, for Brilla FM to knock on your door so that you can give us a comprehensive interview as we look at uh, the World Cup qualifiers against Ghana? There are plenty of questions. Nigerians still love to hear you talk more and especially, you know, concretize things. When, when, when is the best time? Well, uh, actually, I cannot uh, precisely tell you exactly the time, but I think uh, as the days goes on and uh, we we'll begin to know, uh, like you have said, of course, our mind now is, the Afghan is all over. Mm. Our mind now is towards the qualification. And I think our dream, uh, even the least in the country, uh, his dream and his wishes is to see us being in Qatar. And I think that spirit and that uh, motivation we go a very long way uh, that positive vibes from everybody in the country that positive belief that we can we can qualify why not why can't we qualify we can qualify but we have to do what is needful but of course you know uh, sometimes those of us that are coaches and uh, players when we talk about things unseen you know a lot of people won't understand in football there are a lot of unseen and uh, uh, those on scene need to be taken care of but hopefully you know uh, when the time comes nigeria will be in a position to compete with ghana we know how important it is and uh, the fact remains that uh, uh, we and ghana whether we like it or not we are brothers we have lived together in the 80s uh, now they are had of course we have to play but uh, it's better sometimes to be quiet uh, do things quietly and respectfully. Mm. Uh, have you have you dropped your report on the nations, Gob? As a member of the TSG, so, yeah, we have done that. That's what I've been. I was privileged to be in the center of Nigerian group, and uh, every game, uh, you know, you have to cover it. Unfortunately, my colleagues are supposed to back me up was not there. Look at Redebe. Mm. But I have to do the job. But it's okay. It's part of learning. It's part of uh, experience. It's also part of coaching. It, it's not directly you are coaching on the line, but of course, it goes also with the football ideology and uh, all the statistics and all the parts that uh, surround the game. Mm. Uh, you know, it's a good thing. The, the next time, uh, by the grace of God, when we talk, we'll talk about uh, your reports. Austin Eguava has also submitted his own report and uh, maybe look at uh, the rise and the fall of the Super Eagles and uh, what and what uh, we should do differently when we face Ghana. Uh, Coach, I, I know you have to run back to your meeting. Thank you very much, at least, uh, for even uh, giving me uh, time to speak to you and for you to speak to Nigerians. Thank you very, very much, Coach. Thank you, Tony. Thank you and compliment of the season. Thank you. Yeah, same, same to you. Same to you. Thank you very, very much, Coach. So, so live and direct.